y'all, welcome back to Make It Dairy Free. I am Larisha, in case you don't know. And so I think we can kind of all agree that casseroles get a bad rep, don't they? Well, at least the dinner ones. They are notorious for just dumping a bunch of stuff into a casserole dish, throwing it into the oven, and baking it. Sometimes, like our taco casserole, it actually ends up amazing, but other times, it's a little iffy. However, Breakfast casseroles are a completely different beast. Those you can't go wrong with. Today, we are going to be showing you how to make a simple vegan French toast casserole with just a few ingredients, and everyone that tries this from you is going to be begging you for the recipe. Whether you are looking for a brunch idea for the next weekend get together, or you are already prepping your next holiday menu, this is the breakfast meal that you are going to want to add to your list. We wanted to keep this French toast casserole really simple, but we are gonna be doing a walnut topping on top of it. However, if you don't like walnuts, you can always do pecans like we did on our eggnog French toast casserole that we will link below. Or if you are allergic or don't like nuts, then you can completely omit them. We'll show you all how to do it. Let's just get right to it. To start this recipe, we are gonna be using an Italian loaf of bread. Feel free to use your favorite homemade bread or artisan loaf. You just need 16 ounces of bread. We are going to be cutting the loaf into cubes. It should be roughly the same size, but don't overthink it. The key to non-mushy French toast casserole, which no one likes, is to use stale bread, and you can do that by leaving it out to harden for a day or two. Or if you are short on time, you can bake it until hardened about 20 minutes or so. Once you have stale bread ready to go, you can make the batter. Inside a bowl, you are going to combine all of your batter ingredients. We start by mashing bananas inside the bowl so we don't have to use another plate. If you happen to be allergic to bananas, you can use another type of fruit puree like applesauce. Go ahead and mix all the other ingredients in one by one. You can make swaps like air root powder for the cornstarch or another dairy-free milk like oat milk for the almond milk. It's a really great recipe for those little allergy swaps or preferences you may have. Whisk everything together until you have no dry ingredients remaining, and then it's time to put all this together. Pull your stale bread cubes back over, and you're going to pour the entire batter across the bread. Once you have it all in there, you are going to take a spatula and really get in there and combine it. Take your time and don't rush. Make sure that every little piece is well coated. Place this in the fridge at least four hours, preferably overnight. For this topping, we are using walnuts, however, feel free to swap with another nut like pecans. You want them to be chopped pretty small so there's not any huge pieces to bite into and that they get a bit soft during baking. Or if you have a nut allergy, then you can completely omit the nuts and just make the sauce. You want to melt the butter and brown sugar on a low heat to almost make a caramel-like sauce before adding in the other ingredients. Stir frequently and carefully as to not burn your sauce. When ready, pour the sauce evenly over your casserole and then bake it to golden brown perfection. Once done, let sit for a bit to cool and the sauce to harden up a bit before cutting so it doesn't fall apart and then serve. It makes a great option for a prep ahead breakfast on a busy holiday morning or a brunch weekend with your friends. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give this video a like and leave a comment below and let us know what recipe you want to see from us next. Have a great week.